Hello everybody, hope you're doing well, amazing hackers. Let's move on to 20.php for our cross-site scripting filters. In here, we can see that if we send anything, we don't see anything on the screen. The parameter is setto, f name is John. Though, if we look at the source code, we can see that this value is actually reflected in the source code. So again, we'll have to break out of this context by entering these comment and characters, and then we can insert our attack vector in here. There we go. We have our cross-site scripting attack. Now, that's 20.php, real simple, HTML comment context. Does this occur often? No, but does it occur sometimes? Yes, so you have to keep an eye out for it. Thank you very much, see you in the next one. And in our next one, if we again enter our context and we exit it through the end HTML characters, we can see that we can insert some stuff, but script alert will not work. That's because script and alert are filtered out in this case. So you will have to end it, and then you have to enter an attack factor that doesn't contain script or alert, like this one, which says prompt. So instead of script, we get a prompt, and we do get our cross-site scripting again. Now in 22.php, if you use an attack vector that contains the word confirm, you will notice that it's also filtered out. And I'm sorry about the background noises, it seems like somebody decided to start building today. But if we use confirm instead of the other ones, we can see that it actually gets filtered out. So what do we need to do? We need to use prompt or something else, just not confirm, script and alert. Those are filtered out in this case. So when I use my prompt, it will pop up. Now in the previous ones, you could have still gotten around the filter by using upper cases or lower cases. In this case, everything is set to lower case. Whatever I put in here, it will get set to lower case. So if I check it out and if I set, for example, the O to uppercase in here, then if I look at my source code, well, of course, it's not going to show it. Oh, of course it does. It makes it to lowercase. Everything I put in my input field goes to lowercase and all of my filters still exist. And 24 is a funny one, of course, because in here, whenever I put one of these characters, a greater than sign, I can see that in my code, if I look at it, there we go. I can see that my greater than signs get removed. So that means that I cannot easily exit my comment context anymore, or can I? Because HTML entities still do exist. And you can insert these HTML entities like greater than, this is a greater than sign in HTML entities. And we have the same over here. So if we pop this up, we can see that we get our alert. Pretty nifty one, this one, HTML entities. URL encoding, always look for different ways to get around filters. Now in 25, you will see that script, alert and prompt are being filtered out, all of them. So that means that prompt doesn't work here. Oh, sorry, prompt does work. I mean, of course, the um, confirm. So the alert, script and confirm are filtered out in this one. So you will need to use prompt for 25. But if I use the, let's see, the alert, for example, instead of the prompt, I can see that it does get filtered out. This won't work. All right, on to the next one. If we have a look at 27.php, we can see that not a lot of things are accepted here. And you will have to use a little bit of brute forcing because pretty much only the svg is allowed here so let's make an attack vector and let's open the svg and then we can say on load for example equals prompt and then we have to encode that greater than sign again and we can see the svg loads and we get an on prompt other attack vectors like a normal image will not work in this lab so you will have to use the SVG attack vector. Uh, of course, I have to be careful because now that this SVG is loaded, my website is broken. I'm gonna try again with the attack vector that we said before. 
So this is just a normal image with the on error popping an alert. If I submit that, it does nothing here. I need my SVG file. 